Welcome back to Top 10 Den. Today we're embarking on a journey into Earth's past, a time when unusual and majestic creatures roamed freely. We're exploring the fascinating realm of extinct animals. These creatures once thrived in their respective habitats, but now their existence is confined to history books and fossil records. So prepare for an exciting adventure as we delve into the chronicles of time. Our first stop is the land down under to meet the Thylacine, more commonly known as the Tasmanian Tiger. A marsupial native to Tasmania, Australia and New Guinea, the Thylacine was a testament to the wonders of convergent evolution. Despite its tiger nickname, this creature had characteristics shared with both dogs and kangaroos, boasting a dog-like body and head, a kangaroo-like pouch and a unique striped back. Sadly, European settlers pursued the Thylacine into extinction, mostly due to fear and misunderstanding of this apex predator. Misconceptions about it preying on livestock led to bounties being placed on their heads. The last known Thylacine, named Benjamin, tragically died from exposure in a Tasmanian zoo in 1936 after being locked out of his sleeping quarters. Next, we time travel to South Africa to meet the quagga, a unique subspecies of plain zebra. The quagga boasted a peculiar coat, with the front half striped like a typical zebra, and the back half a solid brown, akin to a horse. Unfortunately, the quagga was ruthlessly hunted for its meat and hide, and to preserve grazing land for domesticated animals. Despite early protection laws, the efforts came too late, and the last known quagga died in an Amsterdam zoo in 1883. Setting course to the chilly waters of the North Pacific, we encounter Stella's sea cow. This hefty marine mammal could reach an impressive length of up to 9 metres feet, and weighed a staggering 10 tonnes. A distant cousin of the present-day manatee and dugong, it was first described by the German naturalist Georg Wilhelm Steller. The sea cow became a victim of overhunting due to its slow speed, docile nature and high fat content, providing an easy and nutritious target for sailors. Sadly, just 27 years after its discovery, Stella's sea cow was declared extinct, leaving only tales of its existence. The passenger pigeon, native to North America, once graced the skies in such large flocks that they could darken the sun. It's estimated that there were as many as 5 billion passenger pigeons, making them the most abundant bird species on the continent. Their downfall came swiftly due to overhunting and massive deforestation destroying their nesting grounds. By the turn of the 20th century, the species had been driven to extinction. The last known individual, a female named Martha, died in the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. The dodo is probably the most infamous of extinct species. Indigenous to the island of Mauritius, this flightless bird had no fear of humans, making it an easy target for sailors who hunted them for food. Furthermore, invasive species introduced by human settlers such as rats, pigs and monkeys preyed on their eggs and young. The last confirmed sighting of a dodo was in 1662, barely 70 years after the arrival of humans on the island. The great auk was a flightless bird that lived in the chilly waters of the North Atlantic, from North America to Europe and Iceland. Known as the original penguin, it was sought after for its feathers, which were highly prized for mattresses, leading to its systematic hunting and eventual extinction. The last known pair of great orcs was killed in 1844 on Elde Island, off the coast of Iceland, signifying the end of this remarkable species. We then head to New Zealand to encounter the moa, a group of nine species of flightless birds. The largest species, the South Island giant moa, stood up to 3.6 metres tall, 11.8 feet, with its neck outstretched, making it one of the tallest birds ever. The moa were hunted to extinction within a few centuries of human arrival to New Zealand, with the loss of the species causing significant alterations to the country's ecosystem due to the important role the moa played as a herbivore. Next up is the Irish elk, one of the largest deer to ever roam the earth. This majestic creature stood about 2 metres tall at the shoulders, 6.5 feet. But what really made it stand out were its massive antlers, spanning up to 3.6 metres, 11.8 feet. Despite its name, the Irish elk was not exclusive to Ireland and was found across Europe and Asia. 
it is believed to have gone extinct around 7,700 years ago due to a combination of environmental changes and overhunting. The saber-toothed cat, or Smilodon, is a prime example of the ferocious predators that existed in prehistoric times. Known for their long, dagger-like canines, these apex predators were found throughout the Americas. Their extinction around 10,000 years ago aligns with the disappearance of large herbivores, which were their primary food source, and significant climatic changes at the end of the last ice age. Our final entry is the iconic woolly mammoth. These prehistoric relatives of today's elephants roamed the Northern Hemisphere from North America to Siberia. Adapted to survive harsh cold conditions, woolly mammoths had long curved tusks and thick shaggy hair. Their extinction was likely a result of a combination of climate change, overhunting by early humans, and possibly disease. The last isolated population of woolly mammoths lived on Wrangell Island off northeastern Siberia and disappeared around 4,000 years ago. And so concludes our voyage through time, showcasing the magnificent creatures that once graced our planet. While we cannot undo their extinction, we can learn from their stories to ensure the survival of the species we share Earth with today. Remember to like, share and subscribe to Top 10 Den for more captivating journeys into the intriguing and often bewildering realm of our world.